how to create a Zapier account. So the first step you're going to take, of course, is go ahead and open up your favorite internet browser. Myself, I'm going to be using Google Chrome. And then go ahead and search Zapier, Z-A-P-I-E-R. And for those of you who don't know what Zapier is, it's the easiest way to automate your work. That's their tagline. Basically, it's just a way that I'm going to be using it um, to do web hooks within my Discord channel. It's because I want to set up a channel that basically will automatically create a new notification every time I post a video. So we're going to go ahead and click on the link here. Then we'll go ahead and open up. It'll come up with this little pop-up here. This is what brought to use today, and we'll just ignore that for right now. But first thing we're going to have to do, of course, is create an account, and that's what we're here to do. So we can sign up with Google, sign up with Facebook, or use a work email and first name, last name. So um, because not everybody's going to be using a Google or a Facebook, I'm, of course, going to use the email option. Okay. So I'm going to type in do 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 how to out official at gmail dot com okay now I'm putting my first name in how to Al get started for free okay and then it'll say so after you've clicked that get started for free it will then go ahead and give you a password option so you can create a password and I'll go ahead and click on sign up then give it a sec here and then it says how to discover ways to automate apps and save time help us customize your experience by telling us a little bit about yourself so then you have an option here where it says my role is and you can choose a role so if you just click on it it will go through here I'm a designer and teacher professor president CEO um, pretty much let's see here I think other is a good option and we'll go ahead and hit continue or you can always hit skip or we'll hit continue for the sake of this okay and then we'll ask we'll give you personalized workflow recommendations based on the apps you choose so there are a couple things that I use uh, the first being of course discord so I'll click on that and then I also use YouTube as of the moment I also use Gmail as well and then you can scroll through here to see if there's anything else that you use currently there's nothing else that I'm currently using um, in terms of Oh, I suppose I do do some stuff with Excel, so I'll throw that in there as well. You can always just scroll through here as you need, and I'm sure you can come back to this at a later date. But from here, we'll go ahead, scroll down, and click on one app away from tailored recommendations. Ooh, all right, so I'll go ahead and find one more that I can add on here. Uh, let's go back up to the top real quick. Um, we'll just throw in Google Drive for the heck of it. Okay. And then keep it going for more recommendations, and we'll just click on Finish Setup. All right, and now we have logged in, and we have created a Zapier account. So that's all there is to it. Um, in the next video here, we'll get a little bit more into actually how to build it. This is probably going to be a short little series here where I show how to make a channel in Discord that gets automatic notifications using Zapier, and it will grab that via webhook. But we'll get that in a later date. And that was how to create an account on Zapier.